Hello, Flores here from mrflores.com. Um, a user on the sendforo.com website mentions that I uh, was using a text editor that would help him, um, you know, code a little bit faster. And that's exactly why I use TextMate. I'm pretty sure there are other solutions out there that do the same, but I'm just familiar with TextMate since uh, whenever they came around, like five plus years ago. Um, for example, if you have a PHP file or a CSS file, you can both open them in TextMate. And I'll do that with, for example, the PHP file. And it's empty right now, but let's create something. For example, if you want to do some PHP code, we can start typing PHP and press tab, and we get what we want. That's awesome. And it recognizes that this gray area is all PHP, and everything here, for example, um, um, you know, is HTML. Although there's no HTML thing, so you can do all these kind of things. That's kind of cool. Anyway, that's not important. Uh, the text editor has bundles, and that's how it recognizes whatever you have. So CSS, C, uh, you can do diffs, you can do HTML5 or HTML. Um, you know, you can do mail with this, you can block with this, it recognizes .sql files, Java, JavaScript, it uh, doesn't matter. And it's really handy. You can create your own um, bundles, and you can also create your own uh, or edit the existing ones to customize them. Anyway. Once you are in a .php file that recognizes that you're in an HTML file that has PHP, you can also go to pure PHP. But since it's usually a mix between HTML and PHP, I always go with HTML. There's a little thingy here that you can say, I'm in PHP and I want to define or include or echo something. It has all sorts of stuff. You can go for global stuff and declarations. It's Everything is in here and it's really easy to find. And this changes, for example, if you go to CSS, which we'll see later, you'll see that all these shortcuts for CSS are a little bit different. And I'll also show the difference between um, a C file and a PHP file, where we're both doing if or function or whatever. So, for example, if you want a if function, you can type if, it becomes blue, so you can press tab. It's valid, what is red requires to be changed. For example, um, this equals that. And of course, you can also continue doing this. You can say um, if else, and we'll just continue on whatever we were working on. So that's really cool because you just do a few little things and it's all there. And of course, if your preference is, for example, the above coding as a coding standard, so the curly brackets are on their own line rather than at the end here. That's uh, okay. You can, like I said, you can go back into one of those bundles and change that. <clears throat> now let's say um, I want to create a function. So we can do uh, fun. There we go. I got a public function. And one cool thing is that these macros aren't just shortcuts to a bunch of text because you know you could use text expander on the Mac or whatever. But you can also just press tab, and it will jump to your function name, which you can give. And then you press tab, and you go to your value, and then you press tab. And, you know, you can keep going on like that. So that's really cool. I'll show that again. Um, if condition, we'll do something there, and then I want to write some code. So that's really cool. And you'll immediately see that there's even something else going on. The above is not valid, but I can say, well, this is actually a string, and there you go, it's not red anymore. So, you know, depending on what you're doing, it's also helping you detect uh, little issues here and there, which is really cool. And um, one another thing that I like is that if you um, do something, um, like curly brackets, and you press enter, or first of all, if you just type one curly bracket, it actually types the other one, this one over here, and puts a cursor in the middle. And then if you press enter, it will split them up, insert a tab, and put your cursor at the location where you want to type. So that's awesome. So stuff like that is just really cool. 
and it lets me focus on the code rather than the syntax of some stuff and that of course helps a little you don't have to keep typing the same thing over and over and over again okay <clears throat> so that's um, PHP let's go create so if I type um, if in PHP I get one for PHP now let's create a new document in um, well C++ or whatever let's see what happens if I type if there you'll see that they are clearly different so a shortcut you don't need like if PHP tab or if C++ tab it's just whatever you've set your document type to and that's really cool <clears throat> no, I don't save that. And we're going to open a CSS file. And it's also very handy because I want to demonstrate here that if you write your own class uh, and you, let's say, do a background, you just don't know, like, all I want to do is a background image. So I can go for image, and that's really cool. Or a background, oops, background color like transparent that's excellent now i don't have to type all of that or just background and you press one and you just skip through all these uh, things which is really cool it shows everything that is basically possible in those uh, chunks so you can just quickly write whatever you want and um, that's really helpful and um now okay, that's enough for now let's go do some HTML and the PHP file will do just fine so let's pretend we got a, um, a doc type for HTML5 uh, we got HTML here and uh, we kinda wanna close it here I think all I have to do is use a key combination with that combination again on my keyboard and it will close the open tab tag so that's uh, really cool Another cool thing is that if this would render like one line in um, the browser and you want breaks here, but you know, imagine if you um, have this a bunch of times, it sucks having to put breaks in here. So what you could do is uh, cheat a little and with a key combination, you can just drag a block over the screen and you can start typing. And there you go, everything has a break now. And uh, it's not the most elegant way, but it really helps with a lot of stuff like this. And uh, imagine that we want a form in here uh, with an input field. And, and this might be a hidden one, actually. And then we want one uh, with a label. And uh, I don't really have to think about, like, do I cover everything because it's usually there and of course uh, let's show that again um, I have my title and if I type the 4 and the ID update as well so that's really cool and then I can still change it if I want I can say this is text and I can say my value is a lot of that so it really helps me a lot Anyway, I hope that kind of demonstrates uh, the potential of a text editor like this. And uh, um, for FTP, well, it's not really worth showing, I don't want to demonstrate all the sites I run, but with FTP all you have to do is right click and open, and it will like open TextMate with that stuff, with the right bundle and everything. It's pretty cool. Anyway. See you later.